Good morning and welcome to Daily Reflection on Thursday the 12th of May. I'm Vicky Higgins and today is Ascension Day, the day that we recognise and celebrate Jesus returning to heaven. The chapter that begins at his birth in the stable comes to this point when Jesus finally returns to heaven after the resurrection and after appearing to his disciples. The readings down to look at are from Luke chapter 4 verses 1 to 13 and Psalm 118. And I think the themes that come through in the, both these readings are clearly about the dual citizenship and Jesus, the importance of Jesus being fully God and fully human. The other themes are around um, the power of God being across dimensions, covering earth and heaven and lasting for forever. So if we think about the uh, temptation narrative, in that narrative in Luke's gospel, it makes it very clear that, that Jesus was hungry. He would have physically held, held, felt hungry. So when he's being tempted to turn the stones to bread, Jesus had that human need to eat, which would have tempted him very much to do what the devil asks. When the devil offers power and control in this world, it, it's a very real temptation. And being up on the steeple, the desire to kind of to protect himself from falling would have been great as well. Jesus is fully human and as a human would have experienced the power of that temptation, but he is also fully God. And he knows at the point that he's being tempted that if he gave in, if he gave an inch to the devil, then that would have prevented his mission, which was the ultimate victory over death that was achieved on the cross. Jesus stands firm in the face of temptation and encourages us to do the same. Through these readings, it says to us very clearly that we need to hold in mind that the promise of the Lord is, is not contained in this world, but it transcends this world and it transcends time. The miracle of Easter smashes away an impermeable divide between heaven and earth, between life and death. Being fully human and fully God of this world, dying but being raised to life, Jesus moves between heaven and earth. So during the transfiguration prior to his death, Jesus opens up a glimpse of heaven for Peter, James and John. He is able to reveal his identity and in part they encounter in a very real way prophets who have passed and remain in heaven. Fully human but able to access heaven and after Jesus has died and raised again, he comes back to earth. So although he's of heaven at that point, he comes to earth and reveals the truth of victory over death. This idea about how um, it really provides comfort, doesn't it? At points of grief and it provides hope when things are difficult, that we are not focusing right here, right now on this day and this minute, but we are looking up to a future and to an ultimate victory over death. A couple of songs that I really like, that I think really fit with this theme, uh, both by Ed Sheeran actually, Visiting Hours and Supermarket Flowers. And both are talking, are written by a person grieving and recognising that the person they've lost has moved into heaven. And this sense of that kind of very, um, you know, being able to move back and forth in your mind but also the pain of grieving, because at this point, when we do lose someone, we lose them in a physical sense, which of course is very difficult. When we look at Psalm 118, the author of the poem is celebrating prophetically God's victory over sin and the saving power that this provides. So if you look at some of those words, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. When hard pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? 
The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die, but live and will proclaim what the Lord has done. So the author is talking about keeping our eyes on that uh, knowledge of, of, of heaven, of the victory over death. So although we die of the body, we don't die of the spirit. And at some point, those, there will be one, one place where we will all be reunited. So on Ascension Day, we celebrate Jesus returning to heaven until he comes again. And we celebrate the truth that is revealed through the transfiguration, through the death, through the resurrection, through Jesus coming back on earth and now in moving to heaven. That what we believe in is not contained in this world. So no matter how bad it gets, there is a different place, a better place that we will uh, ultimately end up. And also the comfort that that will last forever. So there will be a reuniting uh, wherever that is. So to end with a prayer, dear Lord, we thank you for your son. We thank you that you saved us through his life, his death and his resurrection. Res resurrection. We, on Ascension Day, recognise how that reuniting in heaven how powerful that will be and that that promise is there for us too. A hope, it provides a hope that will last eternally on this earth and a comfort, especially perhaps when we are grieving or when we've lost people we love. As we live our lives, we pray that we embrace our dual citizenship, that we follow the role model of Jesus that we spend time in prayer, reading the Bible, worshipping, to know how to be fully human, but also filled with the Holy Spirit to make us dance to your tune. Dear Lord, we pray for energy and for protection over the coming week, that we can continue to spread the word of your gift of Jesus and your salvation of us through his death. Amen.